Good morning everybody, it is Wednesday the 24th of June and we're up to assembly number 11. So I'd like to start off by thanking everybody so far for their entries of the windmill competition. It's not so easy to design them on the computer but people are starting to have a really good go and I've been impressed with what we've been sent in so far. Remember, it's not just for children this one, adults can take part two and they could be responsible for changing the logo on our school badge. So please take part if you get the chance. Right, uh, I'm gonna start with a catch up on house points. It's been a long time since I've caught you up on where we are. And I must say, it's been quite a close battle between the serpents and the eagles for quite some time. I'm gonna just finish off the end of that first term just to tell you the scores uh, for up until the end of May and then catch you up for the last few weeks. So when we broke up for half term, in fourth place we had Phoenix with 55 points. Then we had Dragons with 72 points, Eagles in second place with 83 points, and Serpents flew in the final few days into the lead with 136 points. So now I'm gonna fast forward a couple of weeks and looking at the start of the new term, it's actually been quite interesting because Eagles, at the moment, you have got so many points. You had 49 points uh, last week and 19 points the week before. So at the moment, you're in first place for this term. In second place, you've got Dragons who have jumped into second place and Eagles, uh, sorry, Serpents, you're in third place. Phoenix, you're catching up, but you're still in fourth place, I'm afraid. So I'm going to put the scores up there for you to have a look and to celebrate the Serpents winning the end of that term. Uh, Mrs., uh, Mrs. Wheeler and I are thinking of how to, how to reward you, but you may be getting uh, a certificate, a virtual certificate to congratulate you. So keep, keep up with your work at home because you are earning those home points. Well done to everybody. Okay. Now, Zoom, announcements about Zoom. So, so far we've had Mrs. Housem's class and Mr. Flynn's class take part in the Zoom. And today we've got class two, Mrs. Wheeler's class. The links are coming out either a day before for parents or a few days before. So we've had the links sent out so far for Mrs. Crozier's class, which is tomorrow, and for Mrs. Wheeler's class, which is today. Um, Mrs. Metcalf's class and Mrs. Ennis's class, their links will come out either today or tomorrow. A little reminder for Mrs. Mrs. Ennis's and Mrs. Metcalf's class, they'd really like you to do, uh, paint a picture, draw a picture, something really bold and colourful of something that you have enjoyed during lockdown. Now you'll be able to show this during your Zoom picture, uh, Zoom meeting, and talk about it as well. So be prepared to talk about it too. All right, so that's your little plan before for your meetings. Mrs. Crozier's children, you've been asked to, to get your posters ready, anything you've done in your cross-curricular tasks, and have a notepad and a pencil ready. Hopefully you've been enjoying those meetings. It was so lovely to see your faces in class three and class one again. All right, let's jump on to our words for today. So, First word, it's an easy word, it's the word borrow. It's to take something, and use it, and then you return it. In your second word is the word aid. Aid is quite simple, you give somebody help. When you give somebody first aid, you give them medical help. But when you aid somebody with something, you give them some help. And the third word, the hard word, is the feeling of ecstasy. It's an overwhelming feeling of great happiness, joy, and a huge excitement. And sometimes you can't control yourself when you feel it. It's a wonderful feeling. You get it when you celebrate something. Uh, I know a lot of people are desperate for Liverpool to win the league in the next few weeks because it'll be the first time they've done it in 30 years. So they'll have a feeling of ecstasy when Liverpool win the league, which they should but it's not done and dusted yet. All right, let's talk about our facts for today. So our fact for today, did you know that the wind is silent until it blows against something? Now that gets into some quite heavy physics, the more you talk and think about that, but when wind travels in a straight line, 
it is actually silent. It's the vibrations it causes when the wind pushes against an object, which makes it either rattle or that howling sound that you hear. It's the same thing really for fluid. If you have a hose pipe and you hold the hose pipe straight, you won't normally hear the water traveling through the hose until maybe you t twist it and kink the hose and then you can hear the water traveling through. So fluid, just like wind, can travel in a silent straight line. There we go, there's your fact. Right, on to our joke for today. Today's joke is, is another tragic one, but here we go. Why is no one friends with Dracula? Well, it's because he's a pain in the neck. I'm pretty sure you've heard that one before. Okay, we're gonna move on to our shout outs. So in class one, it's a shout out to Robert. Robert, I saw you on the Zoom meeting the other day and you had some little birds that you wanted to share with everybody and a book as well. It was lovely to see you again, Robert, and nice to see how you've been getting on. In class two, it's Henry. Henry, who I think is gonna be appearing on Lynx FM tomorrow, telling a joke. Now, anyone that knows Henry knows he's full of jokes and uh, he can quite often hold court with a lot of people telling his jokes. So I look forward to hearing that tomorrow on the radio in the morning. In, let's see, uh, class three is Rosie Lads. Cl Rosie, you'll be in school today, so it'll be terrific to see you. And you are a star. Everything you do is just great. And it's been lovely seeing you the last few weeks. In class four, it's a shout out to Mia. Mia, we hope that you're well. I have seen uh, Millie and Ollie, but I haven't seen you for a little while. So I'm sure that you've been busy in the garden. You always catch a suntan in about five minutes. So I bet that's what you've been doing, spending lots of time in the garden. So hopefully we'll see you again soon. In class five, it's a shout out to Summer. Summer, I'm sure you've been trying your hardest to work at home. I know it's not easy. It was lovely to see you the other day with your dog when you went for a walk with mum. And so we're just hoping, Summer, that everything gets back to normal and we see you back in school again soon. And finally, a shout out to Finley in class six. Now, Finley's going to be happy because Tottenham won yesterday. Um, Finley, when Harry Kane scored that goal, he looked absolutely exhausted. He looked like he hadn't run that much in quite some time. But I bet you'll be really pleased that they beat West Ham and that their winning ways are back on track. On top of that, Finley, I remember going back a while now, you were quite poorly in March, and that must seem like an absolute lifetime ago, but happily you made a full recovery, and although we haven't seen you, Finley, I know you'll have been up to all sorts and keeping fit as much as you possibly can. So hopefully you'll be able to get back to your football soon and getting ready for secondary school, and we'll be seeing you as soon as we can, Finn. Okay, everybody, that is today's assembly. Hope you have a lovely day. Please, please, another thank you, I must say, to, uh, to you all for sending in your pictures. And if you do want to send any more um, images for the wall behind me or any more pictures of pets, that's absolutely fine. And we'll add them to the assemblies in the future. Thanks, everybody, for watching and see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.